What's up guys, John from Heavy Set Tactical here, and today I really want to talk about a knife that I've been wanting to buy for some time now. Um, this is the SOG Pillar, and a lot of people, that when they would think of SOG, they would think of more of the more of the lower class, like Oz8 steel kind of folders and things like that, under the $50 range, and yes, I understand it, and I, I always you know, for the most part, steered away from SOG. And then I found out about some of their new USA-made uh, premium steel, premium uh, uh, material knives that they're coming out with. And this is one of those knives. This is the SOG Pillar. And when I tell you, I've, I, I have yet, other than some of those Joker knives I showed you guys, like the Joker Campero, this is one of the sharpest knives out of the box I have ever felt in my entire life. And I'm being careful handling it right now because of how sharp it is. Uh, this knife, <clears throat> I'm going to go over just a couple of specs first. Um, this knife, the overall length of this knife is 9.90 inches, so almost 10 inches. The blade length is 5. The blade thickness is 0 0.16 inches. Uh, it's got a got a decent thickness. Um, it, for me, you know, between between zero point one six and point two, that's like, you know, for my tactical slash, uh, you know, my everyday carry kind of tactical knives. That's that's perfect for me. Um, the blade material is an S CPM S thirty five VN, which I think you guys know. A lot of the cold steel folders, high end folders. And uh, this knife, that's one of my favorite steels. It's kind of a, you know, a keep on going, you know, e pretty easy to put an edge on, but pretty durable and, and corrosion resistant steels. And I freaking love it. Uh, it is a, the blade style is a clip point. It's a hollow grind, satin finish, but it does, it has this uh, satin and stone wash finish on it. You can kind of see those little, little glistenings in that light, man. This knife is so beautiful. You just can't, I can't I can't even get over it. So the handle length is four point nine, uh, so it's almost a five inch. So it's almost a ten inch knife, but it's nine point nine. Uh, the handle thickness is point zero point six four inches. It has this black micarta handle, and seriously, I I understand it doesn't look that pretty. It doesn't look like that much. Uh, it's got this big exposed. Uh, uh, you know, full tang, exposed tang here, big hole for a lanyard and, uh, you know, for non-lethal palm strikes or, or whether to, you know, crack open a coconut, anything like that. Um, this is a decently, when I say decently, I mean really light knife. Uh, <clears throat> it comes in at 7.36 ounces. Yeah, 7.36 ounces. And it comes with this Kydex sheath, and I really like the Kydex sheath because it is, um, it, it's super minimalist. And when I say that it's super minimalist, I mean, you know, they they've taken out all the weight that it doesn't need and kind of sizing that it doesn't need. And it's really funny this locking mechanism. It comes with one of these. Uh, I know it says buy dots on it, but it's like, you know, like the tactical belt locks, the, uh, I'm trying to think of what the heck it's called, like, like a tech lock, but it's a little different. It locks on the bottom, which I really like. So it'll click in and then you can push the button to take it off your belt. So you don't have to remove your belt or whatever it's clamped onto, um, you know, and then you lock it so you can't push it in to release it. Um, you know, this, this sheath. I really love it. You guys know I've said it before. I really like the positive click in there so you know the knife is activated. It has a, a, a drainage hole right on the tip there. And to be honest with you, I have not put, I swear to God, guys, I have not put this knife down since I bought it. Um, it it's a funny story. I saw this knife on a few reviews, especially Gideon's Tactical Um you know, uh, Aaron on Gideon's Tactical did a review of this knife. And back in the day when they first came out, uh, I think they're only only two years old, maybe. When it first came out, it said SOG, S-O-G. But now it says, uh, right there, if you can see right, it says Studies and Observation Group, which is what SOG stands for. 
It says Studies and Observations Group Pillar CPM S35VN Steel. And on the other side, they have their USA Made stamp there. USA Made. Now, we're going to talk for a second about the handle on this knife. Again, black micarta. I'm a huge fan for non-polished micarta. It's got the grip of, you know, just the perfect grip. And, you know, when I put this in a hammer grip, this knife is so comfortable. It has pretty aggressive jimping on the back spine there. And it's I love how it starts and it's cut out of the micarta and then leads into just the blade. Now, that is for an aggressive, penetrating, you know, this is definitely has some penetration to it as far as the, the way the blades design, you know, especially with the clip point. I love the clip points. Now, this knife is it has these uh, finger grooves. I'm going to call them finger grooves in the front here, right, right where that first uh, screw and bolt is to hold the handle on. These micarta scales, you know, this isn't aggressive. The jimping is a little aggressive, but not where the handle is. If you're going to grab it like this, you can throw your thumb forward and get a little more of the aggressiveness to it because there's not micarta on either side. But these swells here, in my opinion, are, are deep and cut out like that for your trigger finger to go in there and sit, which is exactly what mine does. And it's super, super comfortable. This is the most comfortable, lightest kind of everyday tactical knife that I use. Uh, and I, I, I'm in love with it. So when I tell you again that this is the most comfortable knife I own, by far it is. Most comfortable knife to handle. And then it has this big finger choil here on the front. And it's not rounded out like a finger choil. But you can put your, you know, if you want to if you want to choke up on it, you can go from a regular grip to choking up on it and putting your thumb up on this smooth backing here. You know, if you're doing woodworking or some, some more of like carving or camp tasks, you can choke up on that knife. You know, so it has that big finger choil on the front for tactical use. Then if you wanted to stop and, and get a different grip on it, you can put your thumb up here on the back spine that's flat. It's not a full 90, but it will throw sparks. It's not bad for scraping. Um, you know, you can keep your thumb on this jimping or put it up here on that smooth uh, spine, part of the spine, and get some really good carving. And again, this is the sharpest knife I have taken out of the box and used. I still have not. I stropped it on a leather strop the other day, but that was, you know... I mean, just dead sharp, you know, and you get the positive click in there. I always talk about that. I've been carrying this on my right side, uh, vertical. Uh, you can, you can unbolt this, you know, it has, it has all the patterns. You can unbolt it and make it a horizontal carry. There's three, six, nine holes in it. It comes with two screws. So you can switch it over and do two, four points of, of grab on it right now. There's only two. When you have it on vertical carry, you can put it on either side. There's only two bolts in there. Plenty sturdy. Zero rattle. Zero. Well, this is one of the tightest fitting sheaths I've ever had on a knife. And man, I'm I'm telling you, it it I saw it on Gideon's Tactical. I realized that I did not have one. And I know that SOG has some more high-end knives coming out. And man, when I tell you that this thing, I got it and immediately, immediately fell in love with it. I fell in love with it. And uh, I have up, I'm going to put, you guys know me, I love the guys over at Blade HQ. I bought this for $200. Um, I'm going to throw, because at the time they didn't have them on Blade HQ. Now they do. They also have a black coated version and a tan micarta and tan coating on the blade version, which is super badass, but... You know, again, the stone wash, I think the stone wash looks great. And uh, to be honest with you guys, this is probably this is probably my favorite tactical knife right now. You know, I have I have a few that I paid, you know, four, four hundred bucks or so for. And for uh, for sub two hundred dollars, I paid two hundred for it. It's on Blade HQ at a slightly lower rate uh, of one hundred and eighty nine ninety five. So right now they're one hundred and ninety on uh, Blade HQ. You know, I'm sure you're going to pay for shipping. So two hundred. Um, I'll drop a link in the description for Blade HQ and maybe another site or two that I could find them on for you guys. But yeah, again, Sog Pillar 
P-I-L-L-A-R. I did not expect to love this knife as much as I do, and I'm telling you. Now, when it comes to carrying these knives, uh, I do have a product I want to show you guys very briefly. And again, that positive click, you just cannot beat it. And, and I wanted to show you this. I almost forgot this Kydex sheath have, has this big, really dramatic thumb ramp on it. And I love thumb ramps for pushing and then pulling. And this thumb ramp has a really, really aggressive grabby plastic or a Kydex jimping on it. And man, it is the most comfortable knife to pull out of the sheath I, I probably have in my collection. Love the sheath. Uh, you know, it has different places for straps. I, I could go I could go for days on this knife. Love the sheath. Love the knife. Super slicey. Just a lot, you know, a lot of cutting edge on there. Just mind-blowingly high-end and comfortable and suitable for any task. I mean, if you want to use this for, you know, outdoor woods work, if you want to use this for a, a plate carrier and get something that's Molly compatible because this is not Molly compatible. Um, you know, if you, you can use this knife for any damn thing you want to use it for. And it is just so comfortable. I cannot get over how comfortable that blade is. So I, I'm super happy I, I bought it. You know, it was $200 exactly. Made in the USA. S35VN steel. The SOG pillar, ladies and gentlemen. So I wanted to end on a on a strange note. I want to show you guys a piece of equipment. I was looking for something to carry my knife in uh, um, to the office. And I was, you know, I have a backpack. I have all this other gear for carrying it. But I just got some suggested by a friend and I saw him on a bunch of uh, Gideon's Gideon's Tactical you know Aaron at Gideon's Tactical has a bunch of them uh, on his site these are made by Magpul and these are waterproof cut proof uh, pouches that are super super big you know they have all different sizes it's for when you're going camping and some of your gear might not be waterproof you can put your phone and money and passport and things in here that you want to keep safe. Um, and again, these are made by Magpul. It's kind of hard to see their logo. You know, they're uh, full Gore-Tex. They're they have the uh, waterproof zippers on them. Um, they're just it's an amazing product. So I wanted to just shout out that uh, that's what I carried my knife in today. Now, I do have some awesome videos coming up for you guys. I have some fall Neven knives. I got some. Uh, I got the Falk Neven A1 Pro, the S1X Pro, S1 Pro. Really excited to show you guys those knives, so you know me. More videos to come. This is John from Heavy Set Tactical. Have a great week. Stay safe and stay heavy.